Ever heard of the company Equifax? Equifax Incorporate is an American multinational consumer credit reporting agency. It is one of the three largest consumer credit reporting agencies, along with Experian and TransUnion. Equifax collects information on over 800 million individual customers and more than 88 million businesses worldwide. In 2017, attackers exfiltrated hundreds of millions of customer records from the credit reporting agency. Although it wasn't one of the biggest breaches of 2017, the kind of data lost was highly sensitive and affected as many as 145.5 million U.S. consumers. During mid-May to July 2017, criminal hackers carried out an attack and infiltration of Equifax servers. This resulted in unauthorized access to the personal information of nearly 44% of the U.S. population. It also shocked many when it came to light that the Equifax hackers stole a whopping 200,000 credit accounts. It was on September 7th that the company publicly announced the occurrence of the breach, which was nearly four months after it began. The Equifax breach investigation highlighted a number of security lapses that allowed attackers to enter supposedly secure systems and exfiltrate terabytes of data. The company was initially hacked via a consumer-compliant web portal with the attackers using a widely known vulnerability called Apache Struts that should have been patched, but due to failures in Equifax's internal processes, wasn't. The attackers were able to move from the web portal to other servers because the systems weren't adequately segmented from one another, and they were able to find usernames and passwords stored in plain text that allowed them to access still further systems. The attackers pulled data out of the network in encrypted form, undetected for months, because Equifax had crucially failed to renew an encryption certificate on one of their internal security tools. As mentioned before, the breach was due to an Apache Struts vulnerability, now known as CV2017-5638, which was publicly announced on March 6th along with a fix in 2017. However, Equifax did not patch the issue for 146 days. Apache Struts is an open source development framework for creating enterprise Java web applications that Equifax, along with thousands of other websites, uses. Although the Apache Software Foundation had released a patch for the vulnerabilities on March 7th, Equifax did not apply the patch to any affected systems. It was then on March 15th that Equifax's IT department ran a series of scans to identify any unpatched systems. Unfortunately, the scans did not work and multiple vulnerabilities were missed. Thus, none of the vulnerable systems were flagged nor patched. So how did these discrepancies come to light? Well, Equifax being unnerved by the series of incidents in which criminals had used SSNs stolen from elsewhere to log into Equifax sites, the credit agency hired a security consulting firm called Mandiant to assess their systems. This was when Mandiant had warned Equifax about multiple unpatched and misconfigured systems. But how did they remove all that data without being caught by Equifax's administrators? This leads us to another Equifax screw-up. Equifax had failed to renew one of their public key certificates for nearly 10 months, which meant that encrypted traffic wasn't being inspected. This also meant that it would be harder for Equifax admins to detect the large amounts of encrypted data that the Equifax attackers were stealing. So what are the lessons learned from the Equifax breach? Number one, understand that no network is invulnerable. Equifax was breached as it failed to patch a basic vulnerability even though the necessary procedures were in place in case such patches were to be applied promptly. The stealing of huge amounts of data went undetected only because someone had failed to renew a security certificate. Thus, Equifax has proper security gear but fails to implement and manage it properly. Number two, data governance is key. Equifax could have been more hesitant to give their content access. They could be more stingy with allowing access and should allow access to database content only on a need-to-know basis. This is so that a trusted individual doesn't gain control of an account and go crazy. Systems also need to watch out for suspicious database queries. The attackers, in this case, executed almost 9,000 database queries in a very short period of time, which should have been a red flag. And lastly, number three, 
Silos are defensible, as they are closed off from other systems and managements. In Equifax's case, once the breaches were inside the perimeter, they were able to easily jump from machine to machine and database to database due to poor segmentation. References used in this video are listed as follows. For more information, please visit Yao Group website at Virginia Tech Computer Science.